Man, got around. OG Silk back here. And hey guys, as you requested, got the lovely Yoni back Ooh. on my channel. Hey Yoni, say hi. Hello everyone. How's it going? I miss you guys. <laughs> well, you miss you guys. Wow, it's this... been a long month. Yeah, no, a long time. A long time to, to get there. Yeah, the last time we made a video oh. was back in July. July? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I miss you. Look at that. <laughs> my heart. Okay. Today, now it's up. Cowboy girl. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cowgirl, yeah. Cowgirl, okay. Yeah. So the reason it's been a while, Yoni's very busy, like doing mm -hmm. her uh, personal training stuff, martial arts, working out. Mm -hmm. So today, the reason we're making a video today, guys, we want to explain to you that if you're a foreigner in the Philippines and you stayed longer than six months here, when you leave the country, you got to get, it was called an ECC card. So what is the ECC card? Can you tell me? Immigration, uh, what is that? I got it right here. So guys, okay. as you know, I always give you the most accurate information. This is what ECC stands for. It's the uh, Immigration Clearance Certification, certification. from the Bureau of Immigration. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wish America had something like this and I'm gonna tell you why after me and Yoni share with you our uh, experience because we went yesterday right yeah yesterday so it's this fresh a, in our minds yeah you know this is our first time i know the ecc the ecc ecc is uh, for for the foreign to visit the the country yeah if you're ex exit the and the country you need uh uh to get the ecc to clearance mm -hmm. to exit mm -hmm. so and like you or the other foreigner six months to Onward or oh, one year straight, mm -hmm. you need this and mm -hmm. certification. Mm -hmm. So the process was. Yeah, so uh, I want to add to what Yoni said. So, guys, this is very important. When you come to the Philippines, man, uh, you can't come over here on these, in these skull mm -hmm. because then you can't leave. So, when you initially come, and I don't know if other channels have shared this with you, you get what's called a, a tourist visa. That's just with your passport. If the Philippines automatically gives you a tourist visa for 30 days, if you're going to stay after the 30 days, like when I met Yoni, then you have to go to the Bureau of Immigration. You have to get an extension, right? Remember? Yeah, extension. Yeah. So you can then get an extension for 30 days, 60 days, or six months. And then if you get an extension past 30 days, it's recommended you get what's called an ACR, which stands yeah, for the ACR. You know what that means? What is that? It's an alien certification of registration card. To it's, stay long. To stay long. long. Oh, on with your, yeah, with your extension of uh, 30, 60, or uh, six mm -hmm. months here. Why is this important? If you guys come over here on your tourist visa and you stay past, <laughs> you stay past oh, your my. expiration. <laughs> no, you stay past the expiration. <laughs> you, you're not, they're not going to let you leave the country, my friend. They're going to arrest you in the airport. Then they're going to prosecute you. Then they're going to deport you. And then you're no longer allowed in the Philippines. The reason yeah. I'm telling you this, and I'm not trying to make a political statement, I wish America was like this. Then we wouldn't have so many illegal uh, immigrants. Here, when you stay past your visa, you try to go to the airport and leave. They check your visa's expired. Mm -hmm. They arrest you. Then they deport you, and you can't come back. Did yeah. you know that? Yes. You knew that? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the experience yesterday. The reason I had to tell you that, I'm going to tell you this experience. There was a couple of foreigners, their ACR expired. And they had a problem because they can't leave. And they had to get all kind of documentation explaining why and this and that. And they're very upset. And it costs money. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? Yes, Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Even, I know, uh, everything, your document, always, I know, see your document if this expired because it's difficult. When you expire your document. Yeah, don't do it. So I'm here to tell you. I don't know what other YouTubers tell you. I'm here to tell you I'm trying to be your tour guide friend. Don't let your stuff expire. You only will tell you one week before my stuff expires, we always go to immigration yes. and get it done. So now let's talk about the topic of the day's video. We're going to tell them our experience. Yeah, yesterday. Our experience yesterday yeah. is this is a step by step how to, to, to get the ECR. No, the ECC. The ECC, sorry, ECC. First, uh, the, fill up the form, mm -hmm. and then the 
put up the name and all the this. application. And you application, you fill out the application form. Everything mm -hmm. here and all. And then next, what is that? And then the picture. Yes. Send a photo picture. Everything is this, right? Yeah, and so then, I think uh, we had to have uh, what is that? five photos. Five photos. And it's yeah. five two by two. It's your passport photos. And don't worry, guys, because when I did a search in the Philippines, I was like, where can you get two by two passport photos? We couldn't find anything in this area here. So luckily, we, got, we have a contact in the Department of uh, the Bureau of Immigration. Mm -hmm. They said, don't worry, they do it there. So when we got there, the first step, and the only skip the step, first you go through security. They clear you through security, and then you ask the security guard, hey, I'm here for an ECC. He tells you, go down to the very beginning. So you go to yeah, the back of the steps. Bureau of Immigration, you fill out the application. And basically what it is, is your legal name, your birth yeah. date, your passport information, mm -hmm. uh, your address where you're currently staying, like that, which, what country you're from. Then, while I was doing that, you only was, you, you made photocopies of Yeah, photocopy. Photocopy of your uh, no, visa before entering in, I know, uh, in the Philippines. Everything your papers you need, everything you uh, uh, photo, mm -hmm. and then they attach the ECC document. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, the other, I uh, know, the side to biometric your picture, and then your thumb and nail, and then what is that? Mm, your, your, fingers, your, your thumb everything. and your all your fingers like yeah, that. That's on the both first hands. Steps. Yeah, that's the first step. And yeah. then go to the to the window. The too. window. Yeah. So I forget if it's window eight, nine, or ten. You choose. Yeah. Uh, we went to window ten because we we did we misunderstood the guard. We went to window ten first. He said no. You yeah. go down to the first guy to fill yeah. out the application. That's the first step. You only likes to skip stuff. So while I'm doing the application. I think she made a photocopies of my passport. Yeah, I don't I know. I was sitting there. Yeah. So then she comes out. Then the guy says to me, go take your pictures. The two by two um, passport yeah, photos. Passport. And I think we had need, we needed five. It was uh, it was 150 pesos. 300 pesos is five. five <coughs> Sorry. Photos, uh, she paid. It was a 300 pesos. Mm -hmm. Very professional. It's a two by two. You yeah. need them. So then from there, we went back to the guy. Then I did my biometrics. You start with your pinky, each yeah. finger, Thanks. like that. And then they take a picture. What they want to do is see if you have any criminal activity in the Philippines. This is why it's important I had to share this video with you guys because if you're looking to come over here and get involved in criminal activity, like for example in America, and I'm not being uh, starting problems, but like sometimes the Jamaicans come over or the Africans or the Mexicans mm -hmm. or whatever, and they commit a crime, they just get on the plane and leave, right? Or they stay illegally and then they get into some problems and they leave. Well, here, if you stay past your your your, your ACR, your visa, you can't leave. You, you're not going to make it through the airport. So that's why we had to make this video. So then the last part, after you get your biometrics, you go to the number window number 10. You give them all your documents. I had to have my previous ACR yeah. paperwork. Everything. Both extensions. I've been here a year, guys. It went really fast. I gave them both of my ACR extensions and my visa extensions. Yeah. And then he made the payment. And then you sit there and you get your claim number. The claim number. Oh, then we move back after. Yeah. So then the claim number, just so you know, guys, you have to come back in three business days. days. So then after three business days, you come back. We're making the video now to tell you our uh, experience. Yeah, experience. And so then we're going to go back. Uh, we're gonna go back on Wednesday next week. We went. We went yesterday was Wednesday. Today's Thursday. We're making this video. We're gonna go back. The, the 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 day to pick it up is the 29th, which is Monday. But I just we making the video. But I was gonna tell Yoni. I don't want to go Monday because maybe it's not ready. But I know for sure if we go Wednesday, it's ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you know Philippines. Well, I'm not just saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> if it's a yeah. business day, if we did it Wednesday, uh -oh. three business days. Thursday, Friday, Monday. So then the next day they're ready. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Sure. For sure. Yeah, for so sure. anyway, guys, we just wanted to uh, share that with you guys so you don't have any problems coming over here because uh, I really appreciate you only being on the video with me. Why? 
Yoni's been on my uh, experience, on my adventure since I've been here. And, and Yoni's a very honest person. She doesn't embellish or lie or none of that. So you guys coming over here telling you I'm making this up, Yoni has no reason to. This has been our experience, whether we went to the VA or we went to get our ACR, the visa extension, we went to the we went to get medical treatment, dude, mm -hmm. and then we went to get our ECC. This has been the experience. We're sharing it with you because these other YouTubers, I'm not saying they're lying, but they they don't tell you the whole truth. Yoni will tell you, I tell you the whole truth. So this is the situation here. So hopefully you guys like the video. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment. Let me know your experiences. And before I go, there was a couple guys here that, that came from America. They was like, hey, OG, I'm in Manila. I'm in Pasig. I'm in Pasay. Let's yeah. meet. And I told them to meet me at the Bureau of Immigration. Maybe they're too busy or whatever. But you know what I mean? You, you guys got to come to where I am. I'm not going to go to where you are because I've been here. So anyway, you got anything you want to say? You leave in the video. Okay. Please like, subscribe, channel. Yeah. And subscribe channel to the channel. Also. Yeah. And then go out, check out Yoni's channel, Bikalana Fitness. Fitness. Yes. Yeah, all things fitness related. Mm -hmm. And so until next time, OG7 back. Out.